What's up, pipe smokers? How's it going? Bald pipe smoker here, again. Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you to my 355 subscribers. Thank you very much. And don't forget, I have a contest going until a couple weeks into October. I think I said October 12th, so get your BRs in. Alright, uh... The door to the man cave just closed by the wind. It's kind of, uh... Kind of cloudy today. It's in the 70s. It feels good. It finally feels like some fall weather. But, uh, hold on. All right, there we go. <clears throat> That's my light <laughs> for the video. But, uh, yeah, it looks like fall weather finally. But, you know what? I think it's going to be 70s, 70s today, 70s tomorrow. I think Monday and Tuesday are going to be like in the 80s. Now, Southern California weather goes like this. Hot one day, cool the next. Um, but fall is my favorite time of year. I don't know about the rest of you, but my favorite season is fall. Maybe because I was born on the first day of fall. I don't know. Anyways, I wanted to share with all of you that I got a new pipe recently. Well, today, actually. I ordered it a while ago. It took forever to get here. I don't know why. came from Washington. Bought it off of eBay. It is a Brigham pipe. Now, I would like to know if any of you have Brigham pipes and what you think of them. Um, comes a nice little baggie. Now, as all you pipe smokers know, some pipe tobacco can give you tongue bite. Some more than others. Um, and which means... <laughs> You can't really enjoy the blends that you want to enjoy, am I right? Now the Brigham pipe, this is what it looks like. This is a Brigham Voyager 129. Got it for uh, $49.99 free shipping. Uh, it's a briar pipe. Now one thing about Brigham pipes is inside they have this rock maple dowel. Uh, it's a piece of rock maple wood that they hollow out. I don't know if you can see that. They hollow it out. And it's supposed to cut way down on tongue bite or eliminate it. So, <laughs> since I have some blends that really bite the tongue, I thought I would get one of these pipes and see if it's actually true. And it also came with a, uh, a pack of the rock maple inserts. It says Brigham, established 1906. Rock maple dist... dist <laughs> okay, I'm going to have trouble with this word. Distillator? Distillator? Say that three times fast. It says, does not impede airflow. Then it's in French, of course, also. Because they're made in Canada. Uh, and they speak French in Canada. <laughs> says the Brigham Rock Maple Distillator allows for smoke to travel through three inches of fresh wood. This clear channel of porous wood removes much of the acid and moisture that can ruin a good smoke. Distillators can be rinsed, dried, and reused many times. That's good. That'll save on money. It says stops tongue bite. Uh, let's see. Keep filter clean. Remove after use and shake out moisture. Or use pipe cleaner to remove moisture and let dry. Replace with new filter every two, three weeks. Or when colored dark, discolored dark brown for longer life, rinse and dry. All right. So I figured I would smoke for the first smoke in it. I would smoke something that gave me a lot of tongue bite. And I've noticed <laughs> that Peterson pipe tobacco blends give me a lot of tongue bite. Whether it's Irish whiskey. Sherlock Holmes, Sweet Killarney. Um, I'm going to smoke this one, Sunset Breeze. This one gave me a lot of tongue bite. Um, so, let me see here. Uh, I wanted to put a, a softy bit on the end. I put softy bits on the ends of all my pipes so I don't get those teeth marks 
on them. Come on, get on there. There we go. Bam! Yeah, that's straight, that's straight. All right, so let's load up the pipe with some Sunset Breeze and see how we do. These have been sitting around for a while. I bought these uh, months ago. I smoked like one or two bowls out of each of them, just let them sit for a while. You know, maybe I should do the Irish whiskey. That one gave me tongue bite too. Uh, yeah, you know, let's go with that one. Pardon me while I switch tobaccos here. All right. Now these tobaccos all smell really good. Um, but I don't know what it is with these blends that come from England or wherever the heck they're from. Alright, right, so let's load up the Irish whiskey. Hope everybody's doing good out there in YouTube pipe smoking land. Alright. I'm getting a tiny bit of tongue bite, maybe because I just lit it. But. I guess time will tell. Has anybody ever taken a. <laughs> anybody out there ever taken a butane lighter and like lit it right on top of the bowl and like ashes and stuff flies out? Some I had to learn to stop doing. So far, so good. I still sense a little heat. Um, But it's definitely more bearable. Um, I've used, you know, these blends. These blends that bite the tongue. You know, I've used the paper six millimeter filters in the corn cobs or Dr. Grabo. I've used the nine millimeter charcoal filters. I've used uh, in my Savinelli the balsa wood filter. This one does seem to be the best on reducing tongue bite. Got a tiny bit of bite there. I do like this pipe though. Ooh, smoky. Smoky. Smoking. Um, but I do like this pipe though. It's a nice looking pipe. I guess time will tell if I really do get less tongue bite with these rock maple inserts. Um, but yeah, this Irish whiskey is more pleasant in this pipe. If any of you out there in YouTube land had the Peterson blends? Have you gotten a lot of tongue bite off of them? I would like to know. And like I said at the beginning of it, I'd like to know if any of you out there have Brigham pipes and what you think of them. Um, if they really do live up to their no tongue bite name with that rock maple insert. So. I 
Anyways, thanks for checking out my video. Thumbs up if you like it. Comments below, as you know. And I will catch you later, Pipers. Adios.